Curtain Trades here, and today I'm going to show you what those tiny specks of rust are on your white car. So if you have a white car and you've noticed that you have some rust specks on it that are really small, I'm going to tell you what those are and I'm going to show you how to fix them. And it's actually very easy to fix. And so what these are is you'll find these on brand new cars, you'll find these on older cars. They are on almost every single car out there. The only reason that you notice them more on white cars is because they just stand out, they're easier to see, but they really are on every single car, even black or dark colored cars. They're just so small and they're a little bit harder to notice on a dark color. And on white, they're very noticeable. And what these little pieces of rust are is they're not a problem with your paint. They're not your car rusting out. All they are is little flecks of metal that get stuck on the outside of your paint and they rust and so they show up orange and they're very noticeable again on white cars. And the reason you see these on brand new cars is because a lot of the times when they bring cars in to the dealers from the manufacturer, sometimes they bring them on trains and what happens is there's this thing called rail dust, which basically is small particles of metal that end up landing on the paint and rusting on there. You'll hear a lot of people call it different names. Some people call it rail dust. Some people call it industrial fallout. There's also a bunch of other reasons and other ways that these can show up on your car. When your brakes wear down, they give off brake dust, which are little metal particles that land on your car. When snow plows drive by and scrape their metal plows along the floor, little metal flecks fly off and land in your paint. And again, there's a million other places that these little flecks can come from. They're super small, they're super easy to get rid of. All you have to do is use one of two products. You can use what's called Iron X or Iron Out, which is basically a spray. You spray down your whole car, you let it sit for a little bit, then you rinse it off and it pulls those particles off with it. Or you can use a clay bar and I'm going to show you how to use a clay bar. It's really easy to do and it doesn't take very much time. So again, all you need is a clay bar, a little car wash, soap and water, or some clay bar lubricant. And again, what these are is they're little flecks of metal and they're just on the surface of your paint. And what the clay bar will do is you get it in wet with the lubricant or the water and you slide it along and it actually picks up the little flakes of metal and they come off of your paint. You basically just stretch out your clay like so and you're gonna dip it into your lubricant. You wanna make sure it's nice and wet. You can even put some on the car. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it along. The most important thing is that it's not sticking. You want it to slide. And wherever the spots are, you just slide it along and eventually it'll pull all the contaminants out of your car. As you go, and if your car's really got a lot of them, you'll wanna knead your clay and find a fresh spot of clay because the metal particles get stuck in the clay. And if you have too many in one spot, you're rubbing those metal, particle, metal particles along your paint and it can scratch it. Just make sure if you have a really, really messy car that you might wanna use a few clay bars to do the whole thing. Um, it just depends on how dirty your car is and how much metal is in it. So again, you just wanna make sure it's sliding. If it's sticking, then you need more water, need more lubricant on there. You just wanna make sure it's not sticking and you're sliding it along. And you just do this along the whole car and it takes all the particles out and it looks nice and shiny and new and that's it if you found this helpful please subscribe because it's super helpful to me and thanks for watching